so much to do with so little time. Just too much stuff at the end of the time or too much month at the end of the money. You know, one of those kind of things. There's so much to do with so little time to do it. You just, uh, you do the best that you can and that's what we're doing with all of this stuff. And that's partly because the oldest turf boy and I, while well, we snuck away for a little bit of an adventure. like everybody else typically weekends are taken up with all this stuff but this past weekend it was all about unplugging getting into the woods doing a bit of fishing and just having some fun right yep but that doesn't mean that the uh, projects around the house take a pause they just keep growing and piling up and well you just do the best you can one of those projects is staying on top of the landscape bed that we put in back here just trying to weed that by hand. I am really trying to not use herbicides in this new landscape bed. I just, the trees were not cheap and I want to avoid using chemical control around those and in the bed as much as possible. It's probably unnecessary, but that's my preference. So that's one of the projects that we're trying to stay on top of. Another one of the projects, this garden bed area right here. I'm trying to level that out a little bit I'm using my hand tiller tool to bust up some of the high spots, take some of that dirt, move it into some of the low spots. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and trying to do the best I can with what I got there. And it might take longer than I want, but that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Got to get a bigger cover for all this right here and fill it in, level that out. We got some weeds we got to pull out right up through here. I want to till all of that out and level it out because we're not going to have grass from about right here over to the garden bed. Coming all the way back to where all the valves and the box is going to be. And then kind of following a diagonal line to that corner there. All of that is gonna be ripped out as well and we'll do maybe some paving stones and gravel or something right in there between the two turf areas. Maybe I can use that shovel. We still got a lot of ground preparation work to get this prepped and ready for seed, kill off as much as we possibly can, level it all out as much as we can, put down the seed, peat moss, that whole spiel. We, we got a lot to do. We noticed one of the heads in the back is leaking. I'm thinking it might be a valve problem. I don't know, we gotta diagnose that and fix that. The head itself is looking fine. I mean, it's dirty, obviously, but uh, there's, there's no cracks or anything on that. That looks okay. I took the swing pipe off, checked that out. That looks fine. Everything looks fine here down in the joint. But what I noticed was, let me dump this. So that's now dumped with water. You can see that it's still dripping right there. And when I swing it up, slowly filling with water. And there it goes. Get a drip to it. So I don't know what's going on there. I'm not an expert in irrigation, so I've got to figure this out. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. Is it a valve problem over in the valve box or 
what what could be going on here we got some heat stress going on we got weeds popping up in the front all that good mess will it all get taken care of in a timely manner most likely not it's okay it is what it is when you're a weekend warrior like me and i assume most of you are tackling these diy projects you do what you can when you can i personally i'm not going to sacrifice time with family to just obsess over all this stuff it'll get done when it gets done i i, I want to make sure i've got a good balance in my life and i hope all of you are doing the same what, what are you wanting With you sitting in it. Yeah. So we, you want to start right there. And, and then where do I really let go? Fast. Where do I let go? Like right here? Right here. Right there. Okay. Actually, where the bottom is. Okay. Ready? Pick your feet up. Is that what you were wanting? Yeah. Time with family is very important to me. And this, if this takes another year to two years to get it to look good back here and where we want it, then so be it. I'm not going to sacrifice that time with family to just obsess over this stuff. That's just my number one priority. We'll get all this done when we can. Enjoy the process along the way. We'll just keep on keeping on, keep pushing forward. And at some points, it'll look good. But for now, just going to enjoy time with family as much as I can. This trip with the oldest turf boy really opened up my eyes to what's important. And that stuff's important. Watching him catch his first fish, getting out there in the middle of nowhere where there's no cell service, disconnecting, and just really bonding with him and bonding with the kids as much as possible. That's what's important. Now this is a little bit different video than normal. Hope you liked that. Hope you liked that message. Hope that makes you think a little bit about your priorities, what's important to you. Don't lose sight of that over this stuff or your hobbies or anything else. What's important to you, dial in on that, hold on to it and treasure it. I think that's gonna do it for this one. Thumbs up if you liked the video, really helps all that dumb algorithm stuff. Drop some comments in the comment section below, especially with this irrigation head thing going on. If you know, you know what's going on there, let me know and I'll try and tackle that and get that fixed. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Keep on keeping on and I will catch you in the next one.